But no, wait, no, we can fix that. I yeah, wonder if it goes back to what you guys were talking about before when people are doing too much stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's, let's not skip that last part. Oh. We we got to fix that last part. What? A woman is lagging on head. What are you talking about? <laughs> lagging on head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I was like, what are we talking about? <laughs> Wait, what y'all meant? If y'all men found a woman that has everything and her head game or sex game is horrible. That's not even a thing, Q. Yeah, wait, really. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Yeah. No, it is a, hey. thing. Not a thing. It, it is, is a thing. thing because I've asked men this before. Would you take a woman that is not experienced and she's having everything else that you yeah. want not experienced I, but bed? We, we don't they need wouldn't you to be her. In a heart, groom, bride, and groom, mm -hmm. groom. You don't, think, you don't need her to be experienced. That, I think everybody can be taught. So, no, yeah, I'm seeing in the bedroom. If, I get a, if my man working. is lacking, we gonna we gonna try some things out. We are gonna try some new stuff. We we try some things out. We gonna make this well, happen. You got, both. You well, got nothing but time. And exactly. I would I will also push us a little bit harder here because what if what if the reason why you're not sexually connected is health related? I was watching a show um and she had breast cancer, I think. And That's as true. a result, as a result of the treatments that she went through, like her libido, it just it wasn't the same. Like there, she's actively trying to figure out ways to even want to do it. Now she's been doing stuff with her husband because she knows he still has needs, mm -hmm. but he can obviously tell to some degree. So I get it. I get. That's the different surface. though. I, you're saying it is different, but it's not. Like it is, but it's not. And so but all I'm saying, I think this kind of goes back to what Q was saying. It can't be so. Like, if it's not what it's supposed to be, then I'm going to do something else. Like, you got to be willing to look at it from a different angle, which to me goes back to marriage is effort. It's work. It's creativity. I, Anti, I know because you y'all got it on. I get it. I on get it. No, but I mean, that's, that's everybody not a, uh... don't have Everybody doesn't have that set up. And I would hate for somebody to hear the conversation and think, okay, if if my part, if my husband and I, my wife and I are not connecting sexually, then I need to go do something else. It could be a lot of different things. It could be emotional stuff. It could be stress related. It could be, it could be a lot of different things. I would hope. I can't. Um, I can't connect with you in that way if I don't. If I'm not feeling you. But I would think, like you, like Quentin said, if if you get married then there had to, hopefully there was some connection at some point. Exactly. Right. I, believe, I believe that if there was some connection at some point, then it being off is a sign that something is off. Like but something not, needs to yeah, be but discovered some people, and figured out. Uh, some people, um, I guess to kind of speak to Q's point, some people get married or in a relationship and they overlook you know, they do the pros and the cons and the pros outweigh the cons as far as what it is that comes along with the sexual part. Right. So you don't necessarily have to be connected to somebody sexually in order to mm -hmm. rock with them. I, I can't. I can't. But, really but you know what? Connected. Arranged marriages. Wait, you're yeah, not you're having saying, sex yeah. before marriage. Anton, you didn't have sex before your marriage. So it and those those arranged marriages be lasting forever compared to the shit going on today. So it. And they're building connection of not even knowing that this person that they're marrying. So it's, I don't know. And then for men, their libido, their sex drive goes down the older they get. Shit. Watermelon. Not you, Anton. Hey, that's right. you she said y'all didn't, y'all didn't before y'all got married? No, they didn't have that's sex. True. Oh, y'all had sex before before marriage? No, you right, Q. Oh, was okay. It, oh, yeah. was, that, was that religious reasons or just... Um, she asked me to take her virginity, um, and I told her no. He wasn't a virgin. He got his peri cherry. Pop. God damn it, Q Q Q be giving the whole rundown of the entire life. Hey, I'm not saying nothing else lady. around Q. <laughs> she got voice recorders. <laughs> um, but yeah, she she, I told her no, 
And then I told her that she can't do anything outside of me either. So she she just listened and she did what I told her to do. And I was there. So are y'all suggesting to get married and and not have no sexual chemistry with the with the shorty? Like, I mean, we just supposed to be like, yeah. said, by the time you get there, y'all gonna know if you got it or not. All right, all right. unless uh, unless you unless you gonna try and wait until marriage, which I guess if that's what you want to do. I'm cool on that. But no, and I would say it. I would say simply put to um, Leno, like you shouldn't get married because the sex is great, and you shouldn't not get married because the sex is not great. Like sex, right. in my opinion, should not be the lead in yes or the no. It could be a factor, but not the lead. Right. It shouldn't be I the foundation. Mm -hmm. Like you shouldn't be having sex the first day and be like, oh yeah, this, this is my wife. Let's let's yeah. start off the relationship foundation based on sex. No offense, Quinn. Well, and plus, if you start to really, if you if you really start to break down the science of sex, then you can really create what you want if both parties are open to creating what you want. Like it's. I think that I think that women should have as least amount of sex as possible before they get married. We, I think that's right. one of the problems. We, we know we want people to be right. right. We want it right. I think that's that one of the sense. problems. And it's not even it's not even about that the guy want her as a virgin. It's not that's not the entirety of it. Really, the, the problem with it is that women get emotionally connected, or they then let those experiences, either consciously or subconsciously, affect who they are and how it is that they view men going forward. And so that's supposed to be something that's reserved for the person that she's with, not necessarily given up to the people before before him, which then affects how it is that their relationship is going to turn out. A lot of people modify it and make it something different. But a woman in a general sense is supposed to have the least amount of sexual partners before she get married. I mean, studies show the most, the more bodies a woman have, the least she'll be able to connect emotionally with her next partner. That's hundred percent true. Which I agree. And it's, a, and it's also a strong possibility that somebody that she's been with um, before you is the one that truly imprinted on her, or traumatized her to where no, her trauma. No, nah, no, hell no. Nah. He took her. But I don't think that it's through the sex itself. Like he imprinted on her. He he was like the best she's That's ever had. No, yes, I don't is. think that's the reason. I think the reason is that's more so. I think the reason is more so because of what sex represents to women and what it doesn't represent to y'all. And then we will think that it represents something, and then through your actions, find out that it didn't. And so, therefore, the hurt, the pain, the whatever. But I don't think it's he just gave me the best, you know, run of my life, and I can't get him out of my head while I'm here with my man or my. I don't think it's that. It is. I think <laughs> it, it very much. It, it, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think I don't think they ever. He gonna, he gonna do some stuff to you that you're not gonna be able to unsee. I, think, I don't think I don't think y'all so, give women. I think, that's I, I think there's some stuff with 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 sex that y'all y'all think y'all know about it that you don't know. Uh, My uh, thing is. I know I so the way I, that woman is ready to be explored like that. Well, let me tell but you. see, you give somebody you give somebody ten choices of, to pick their favorite, or you give somebody one or two choices to pick their favorite, it becomes a whole lot easier. You dig what I'm saying? So regardless if that was the best, it puts that whole mystery in your head on could it be better? You know what I'm saying? Like it's too no, many choices not, to choose from. That might be how y'all are. That might be oh, how men yeah. are. Women not are women. not like that. I forget like, that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hoes. Hoes and bitches might be like that. Oh, women are not like oh, that. No, no, no. Listen, listen. <laughs> I don't listen, have listen. exes. Let's be very, very clear. <laughs> what? All, Stop capping. Almost all women are the same. <laughs> the difference is... All women are the same. The difference is... Who they extend themselves to and what they make themselves available to. That's going to be the separation between a hoe and a housewife. But let's be very clear. Overwhelmingly, all of y'all are the same. And when you get the right person, I'm assuming that that's your husband. So, you know, I ain't speaking to y'all specifically, but I'm just going to speak in general. When you get the right person, it changes everything. You can't see the same. You can't. It's it's different. 
you thinking about them at work, you fucking up your your job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You <laughs> It's different. I'm telling you, it's it's so different. You have no clue whatsoever. So, do y'all think that y'all don't unsee y'all exes and shit? Like y'all don't y'all don't believe that? Like y'all don't? They don't have no exes. No. Once they have done it out, poof, mm-mm. that's they cap. Not. Because I can hit up my. The, the thing that's what's so fucked up about it is, and again, this is the delusion. Most women still got a main. When y'all move on, y'all got a main nigga already, right? So why is there? Why is the the ex still even allowed to call y'all phone? They're not cute. Block their ass. I block exes. <laughs> you might be different yeah, then, but most block people. I had to have that conversation with. Her I still she, block. Jesus. <laughs> she and she still even, she still, even take it from listen, my book. She to block she too. Don't even listen to me. She truly be like, "I oh, fuck that Anton." Oh, so you're not a woman. <laughs> We know how men are. If you don't block them, they gonna send a text. Hey, big head. Hey, how you? No, nah, I get, I get hey, that. But Q, family? but Q, Q block everybody, regardless of their ex or not. So that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. but because like if the, if a friend did me I wrong, think she or, yeah, or, I think she or someone based on YouTube, why do they need to have access to my phone number or me?